kind of some uh, beef pot pie sound. They've seen weirder things in space before. Go to sleep and we're gonna go to this murder meeting. Oh, yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> Welcome back to the Galactic Nomads Traveler RPG game and the Third Consortium. Last episode, our crew discovered the murder of their patron, Scout Master Fizzlethrust, and met Sub Scout Commander Lester Moonbrawl, who was conducting the investigation. Due to some sleight of hand by Yasviz, he discovered a paper in Fizzlethrust's office with the names of people he is investigating. After agreeing to meet Moonbrawl for debriefing the next morning, the crew returned to the scales of the Azure Mamba. What is the crew planning to do, if anything? Like and subscribe so you never miss out. And now let's rejoin the crew on the Mamba. It's a PTO day. Everyone's always suspecting the, the admin. <laughs> Alright, you get on the boat. Something smells really good. Food. Can't wait to eat. A roll to be impressed. Six. Six. Yeah, you're fairly impressed. Yeah. Right. Oh, all right. Good meal. <laughs> so when we're all together with Larry. So that's what, that's what we I have will, a discussion uh, over. Uh, let's go to the, yeah, let's go to the kitchen. Over dinner. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, right. I'll share my my observations. And... Well, Larry's there in his jumpsuit, space jumpsuit, got his apron on. Got hair in it on, because you know he's a wolf. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's like, "Hey guys, how you doing?" I was just finishing up. And he's got like uh, he's taking little four four little pies out, pie looking things out of the oven. Ooh. Pie, nice. Yeah. Hope you like beef pot pies. Comfort food might be good right now. That's right. I'm excited. Indeed, I'm down. So what old uh, Fizzle Thrust have to say? Not a whole lot. In fact, not a so, single syllable. But he wasn't in? Oh, well, he's dead. He's dead? He's dead. Damn. <laughs> you know, like a heart attack or something? Uh, more like murder. Yeah. Unless... In his office. Over his desk. Well, that's not the kind of thing I want to do over a desk. No, I don't think any of us no. do. Yeah. Then if you ask if, if you ask me, inside job, that's my that's my working theory. Oh yeah. Yeah. No forced entry. Well, they don't think we did it, did they? It was done from behind. <clears throat> so, I don't know what's your thoughts on that. What uh, what did you see on the uh, desks there, paper wise or anything? Well, I I lifted lifted this, pull out the paper, and uh, laid it on the table, slide it over to Pernicky. Got three names. Any of those names familiar? Yes, they do sound familiar. Those are the three vagabonds that wrecked our old ship before we got it. Oh. If you remember, but it was we have it as Jen Lesnar, Car Kilo, and Sim Eben. I can't respond because my face Ooh. is full of beef pot pie. <laughs> so they were they were slightly off. It could even just be because of no, dogs. just. It could be. It could be. <laughs> so, but those were very similar to the, those names. Very similar names. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like different by a letter, letter right. or so. Right. Yeah. That really doesn't sit well with me. Are you gonna read the paper? Yeah. So these three people. <laughs> these three people were new recruits. They'd been in the scout service only a couple months. We're only like two thirds way through their training when they got pulled. For a special mission. And this paper, this paper is like a couple months old. Okay. And so they were pulled for supposedly some sort of side project uh, that is not named in the paper. And they were pulled for this project by one Lester Moonbrawl. Ooh. The plot thickens. Yeah. What do you mean by pulled? So, huh? Like they were pulled from the service, or these records were pulled. Oh, the the three guys were pulled from their training. Okay. For a mission which is only identified by numbers. And these are the three Truths. that owned the doghouse before we did, right? She thinks so. Their names yeah. aren't exactly the same, but their names are super close. You mm -hmm. have the you have their actual. Actually, she just read her real names too. Yeah, because it's a little too coincidental. The similarity in names and three of them hanging out together in two different groups. It's a little weird. Yep. 
and well, Moonbrawl yeah. being on this paper, and him conveniently, I mean, dude's got motive. I mean, he stands to gain a promotion. He, we seem to be constantly following these three's footsteps. He did shadow, yeah. say, oh God, now I'm trying to remember the exact words he had said, but what did he, what Moonbrawl said that now sounds a little fishy if he's the one that pulled these junior scouts out of training was that he was surprised that we were um, Fuzzle Bottoms, like... Secret people uh, You know, uh, under yeah. the books or whatever. Right. I just freaking... Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, Fizzle yeah. Thrust, yeah. Fizzle Thrust, there we yeah, go. Yeah, his, uh, his off the books. Yeah. Yeah. Off the books, there True. you go. Yeah. Wait a minute, so if Moon Brawl pulled these guys to do this mission that we suddenly had to do, and we went to explore it, what's keeping Moon Brawl from just send in some security after us before we debrief him tomorrow. Who says he's not gonna? Ugh. But these people also, they're the ones that are in that ship, right? The one that that was... Uh, the doghouse. No, 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 not the doghouse. When we were with my friends, there was a, the, what, the sis, Seven Sisters ship that we were in, but oh. the ship next to it yeah. Was what the ship that they were in. Yeah, because they just so got they're still to this around. Planet. Yeah, the Six Sisters Ex- Express. Yeah. Yeah. But the ship next to them was the one that the, these people were in. So do you think they're still on this planet, or do you think they're on that unregistered that unregistered space station? They were still on this planet. I don't. I don't remember if they, the ship had took off or not. I think it landed. It didn't take off. Yeah. Yeah, because they weren't even they weren't around the ship. I don't think at the time. You know this this Maverick spacer that ship's gone. That's it. That's yeah, yeah. okay. That's it. But they weren't on that ship. No, they weren't on that ship. So chances are, unless they got onto another ship, they could still be on this planet. Yeah. Well, can your friends find people for us? They. I mean, they are not good bad guys. They're. Good, good guys. <laughs> they're, so they're... we're a little chaotic for them, and they're a little worried about things of how how you two in particular uh, uh, address things. And if you recall, they were not very happy or a little scared uh, Didn't like when we were, especially especially, they didn't like us dumping especially bodies, dumping bodies and you know that like that was a little little extra. So well, they're not they, going to help us. Yeah, I, I don't see that. I think who possibly could, but I don't know how trustworthy they would be, is uh, that connection you had made Ooh. with the lovely lady in the bar. I don't remember her name right now. I mean, they would, if we have to find where these people are. Gina Torina. But if we don't, if we can't trust the scout service, then, I mean, we'll look them up in the internet. The no, the gnome, gnome pages, the dark, the dark web of face of the uh, gnome book, the gnome, gnome space logs. So. <laughs> we got that right. We got social media in space, right? Yeah, yeah. I I know them. I look them up. Insta gnome. I do a gnome search. Insta gnome. <laughs> gnome book. book who, are you, gnome. who are you searching? Would that be street wise. I want to look up these names. I want to. I want to do. I don't have any admin. No, I can't do that. I do. I have admin. We need admin to Google. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna do, more, do some do research, a little, do a little research, a little, recon, I mean, uh, little deep digging, info. Kind yeah, of like thing. like Drex don't know how to do that. Like, how the heck do I find people if the scout service won't tell me? Or, I don't know. You can always ask me to do it. That's right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then do we want to send Yaws out? To, I don't know. Do we want to? Do we? Do we want to do this tonight? Do we want to take our chances with? Moon brawl. I want to get as much information as we can tonight. All right. I just don't want to yeah. run. The more knowledge we have, the better. And Good. if he's pulling these three for a secret side mission or whatever it says on that paper, mm-hmm. and then he's like, oh, you guys are doing it, maybe these three did an MIA on the scouts. Because okay. you think about it, that's kind of what happened with... The, the, the dog house anyway mm-hmm. is they abandoned ship yeah so maybe they've gone rogue 
from their secret mission. And I'm pretty sure they sold off. And now off we and got hired on to replace them. Yeah. And so maybe he's going to make some kind of side slide offer. And if, and if, and if Moon Brawl is going to try to put the screws to us, I want to be able to put the screws right back to him. Right. I mean, I could maybe sniff around the base, see if I could find something. If anything, get the ship fixed. So if we got to get out of here, we can get out of here quick. Yeah, not a bad idea. Okay. Okay. So should we try to contact that contact that I had made? Might be a good idea. What are you trying to get out of this woman? Uh, information, information on these three. If she knows anything about the inner workings of oh, okay. the conspiracy at the scout. Got to be able to find somebody on a planet. I mean, either 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 she either she's going to meet with us or, she, or, gonna, or she's going to report to somebody that's going to send people to kill us. Great. Right. Well, that would that's... make it a lot easier. Yeah, I mean... Hey, we know our turrets work. We do. We do. I got a grenade launcher. <laughs> that too. You that sure too. do. Well, I don't know how to use it quite yet. But... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Point it in the general direction you want to fire. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a phone call. Okay. Yeah. Y'all just make a phone call after Beef Popeye. Yes, after be- Beef Popeye. Good job, Larry. You going to call this lady? Yeah, might as well. Okay. I got, I got some names to drop. See if uh, I get a response from any of them. So you might want to meet her in person for that, though. Like, see if you can True. set up a, an arrangement. I got, I got, a, I got an idea. Yeah. Okay. You're smooth. You can do it. You say, use, use those retired skills. All right. <laughs> All right. What skill am I gonna use on this? Uh, street. Streetwise. All I right. Mean, that would be. Yeah. Exactly what this is about. All right. Well, let's do let's do uh, streetwise on that then, and make a phone call. Nomaling, nomaling. Nomaling, nomaling, nomaling. Somebody answers the phone. And then you hear a voice go, yes. Is this Gina? Of course it's Gina. Who's this? This is Yazfiz Tinkerfits. We met uh, at a club yes, a Yaz, little while back. I remember you. Well, I put out with you, Yaz. Yeah? It's not very often that I... Well, it's never that I give my number to somebody and they don't call me. Well, you know, it's been it's been a busy, busy uh, few days. You just got back from a space battle, you know. You know how it is. Space battle? Yep, sitting in the gunner seat. Killed three ships myself. <laughs> I'm a troll. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> I make it sound so easy, but, you know, it's, it's an adventure life. What do you want, Yasfiz? Well, you seem like you might be a person in the know. I mean, you... You seem like you run in some 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 circles with people that know things, and I have a, uh, I wanna I wanna know if you uh, have your finger on the pulse uh, with anything having to do with the uh, murder of Scoutmaster Fizzlethrust. Oh, just drop all your eggs in a this basket right away. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know what? You Y'all's do not a straight know how shooter. to move the ladies. No, nope. I don't. I don't. <laughs> what happened to those meat? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's how Yaz gets the ladies. Yep. They're like, oh, he's so up front. Mm. <laughs> wow. So stable. We don't have we don't have time to beat around the bush. <laughs> That's right. I I've heard of the incident with the poor scoutmaster, but I don't think I'm uh, I've been indulged enough to speak about it. How does some uh, beef pot pie sound? <laughs> <laughs> Right to it. He's <laughs> right to it. He's going to be like, hmm, I haven't eaten yet. Roll me a diplomacy check. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Roll. Maybe she likes me. And some wine or something. You know? Oh, yeah, Just, wine yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Two. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Y'all knows what we're about. <laughs> That's a lovely offer, Yaws. But no, thank you. Enjoy your pot pie. Jane, go to the phone. No! Oh! That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no dice. <laughs> yeah, guys, I tried my best. <laughs> Just tough enough to crack, you know? Kernicky is shaking her head and she's slapping. Oh, wait, were we there for the phone call? <laughs> yeah, everybody was there. Like, oh. That's good. That was the worst. 
I've ever heard. <laughs> Lawrence just shakes his head and goes to wash the dishes. <laughs> there he just gets up. <laughs> Yaz, I don't think she was hungry. I don't think she was either. But that's okay. That did hurt. <laughs> Right, what do you want to do now? Well, I was looking to woo her. I just wanted the information. Well, you got to woo her to get the information. Ah, God damn it. That's, that's how all that Let's espionage stuff works, man. Yeah. Everybody wants to hang out with you, Get her you, some Yaz. drinks. Right? Flirt with her a little bit. <laughs> Y'all ain't down. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. Let's sniff around the quarter deck. See what I can find. Now? I think so. Well, what else are we going to do? We don't, uh... Don't have some intel. We don't have nope. it from the street, so... You can help me with these dishes. I ponder with everybody while helping Larry with the dishes. Because I can do two things at once. Oh, man. Well, we can try and find the secretary. I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name either. No, I don't even remember if it was a lady, actually. I don't even know if she had a name. Yeah, it was a lady. Of course it was a woman. All right. I got a perfect plan. Yeah, but what do you, what do you got, Drake? This is what I got. I'm going to get a piece of paper. I'm going to put a number on it. And then I'm going to smudge it up. Then I'm going to go to the quarterdeck and let him know that I got the secretary's name and number. <gasps> but alas, I left it in my spacesuit, And now it's all smudged up. And I need a little help. And we're going to get her number. That's one way of going about it. I mean, hey. there's a piece of paper on his desk, right? Who else is going to know what's on that desk besides the scoutmaster? He's dead. He can't help us. So that's the next bet is the secretary. Oh, it just is too convenient that these three people are once again being called up, and I'm starting to get really bad vibes. And it's not, the, it's not the beef pie. I know that, right? Because it was delicious, Larry. Thank but you. all I'm feeling is that I'm going to show up to this morning meeting, and he's going to shoot me in the head. I mean, for a crime that just happened, there was not a lot of people that seemed to be very interested in that. Well, he did benefit from. From him being dead. I mean, now he is the, the grand quartermaster or whatever. Scoutmaster. Scoutmaster. Some, some nobody base in the middle of nowheresville. No, well, he did He that... did have a little bit of a smug grin when you congratulated him. Oh, well. Hey, don't. So, a little bit of ego there, hey. for sure. Don't downplay this place too much. Right. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a drug ring. I mean, who knows what else there is. Yeah, it's true. On this backwater planet. Well, how else can we find her name? How else can we get her contact information? Well, it's got to be a directory, right? It's got to be a directory. Don't you think she'd be at work in the morning? Yeah, but that's during the meeting. Mm. Oh, you're afraid to go to the meeting. Yeah. Mm. So you show up to the meeting, and then there's going to be cops, or there's going to be just guns. I don't want to go to this meeting anymore. I don't think there is. <laughs> I think that, that he's going to try to strong arm us into taking their place. Take their place for yeah. what? Whatever it is that they secretly have been doing. He obviously knows about it. He's on the paper. Yeah, but they're on this planet still. Yeah. So whatever he has them doing, they're probably still doing it. Oh, well, why don't we... Uh... He might be or he might not be. They might be doing something entirely different. You guys fancy a night on the town? Where do you want to go? See if we can track down these three. I mean, yeah. Just look in some common areas. Well, there's not many places they can go, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's sort of like probably some big, saloons. It's a big planet, but there's the club. We're pretty much where everybody's at. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea. I'd like to try my idea first. I mean, we're already let's here. Let's do it. Plan A, plan B. Plan A, plan B. Yeah, there's always there's always an org chart. Where where are they going to leave the org chart in the scout base? What do you think, Pernicky? We can try it. Yeah, yeah I mean, Andrew, at this point. <laughs> I don't think the number thing's going to work. Yeah, I'm going to wing it. Let's do it. And then we'll go We'll go out on town. Because maybe if we can get a hold of... I got stealth. We can keep the guards busy. I can always try to sneak in there. Hit the Rolodex. Right. <laughs> well, well, we're complicating this. Of course we know these three people. We served with them once. Yeah. Found out that they were on town. Wanted to get drinks. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Play it by the right. seat of our pants. Yep. Seat of pants. Pernicky, you wanna you wanna take the lead on this one? What am I doing now? We've just come we're up gonna with talk, all kinds of we're gonna nuttiness. Talk yes. to the quarter deck, which is the <laughs> main desk mm -hmm. of this base. 
and we're gonna see if they're gonna know where these guys are hanging out, like if they got a number or something. A number for the guys or for the secretary? Let's say for the guys. I mean, we don't have to involve the secretary if we just go directly to the three. Yeah. We're just gonna talk to the secretary to find out where these people are. I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm a scientist. I'm not a, I'm not a street smart person. Oh, so I don't, right. I don't, I don't know how to shim sham people and and, and oh, talk and right. like you know like you guys do, the merchants and, and such. You know what? I want to I want to look up these three people on social media. All right. Maybe they're hey, we're hanging out at the blah 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 having noodles. Exactly. You know. Selfie. All right. Do it. All right. You're going to uh, use the admin, I guess? Look on their both their names? <clears throat> I'm going to look up all three names. Oh. Each one has two names. Yeah, I'll look up. I'll all look up. six names. I will look up all six names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to just general computer use. Well, you're investigating, so either investigate or... Uh, what was the other one you said? Admin? Admin? Yeah. You know what? You can use Krause, too, if you want. I don't have Krause. Yeah. Well, no wonder you're... <laughs> right? We know. Yeah. <laughs> beef pot pie. That's a beef pot pie. That's a beef pot pie. Too much time. You guys have a grapefruit and, or a, a eggplant emoji on top. I might, of as, I might as well, though. Eggplant emoji, question mark. <laughs> All you right. got it, Yaj. You're gonna get us there. All right, beef pot pie. Oh, beef pot pie. Okay, so what am I? What am I rolling on? Here. I'll do. I'll do admin. Why not? Okay. Uh, seven. All right. You don't see anything. You do find a uh, Lena Milo. Lena Milo. And on her friends list is one car. Is a car? It's gonna be con. One con Milo. Con Milo. Hello. And who was the other Milo? Lena. Lena. Okay, let's uh let's let's look up her profile. Okay. She's uh she's a florist and she lives on the planet of Dahlia. Ugh, so she's not even on the same planet. Okay. No. And Dahlia is three systems away. And yeah, we she back just by uh she look looks uh if you uh Go down her uh, feed, friend, her feed, and and find uh, find Kilo. You can see a a, a picture of her and uh, another guy. They look very similar. They're they brother and sister. Okay, so it's a good chance this person in the picture is Kilo. Yeah, is a uh, Con Milo. Con Milo. Con Milo, also known as Car Kilo. <laughs> Car Kilo. Car Kilo is the other name. That's right. Okay, and this is the only he's got, picture. He's got dark hair, kind of close cut. His ears are kind of big. Okay, his, this, ears, kind of, his ears kind of stick out. This is the only picture of the three that that I find. That you find. Okay, I'm gonna pass the pass the device around to show the picture. <clears throat> Maybe it's the guy. You know. Maybe man. it's the guy. Have we seen this guy before? No, you have no idea what they look like. Well, three systems away. That's not helping us. Right? But we potentially have someone to look for here. Potentially. Oh, wait, is she, who's oh so this is the guy we think's still there. Yeah, this is possibly Car Kilo or Con Milo. Alright. Can we look at his profile? He doesn't have one. He doesn't have one. He's just he's hanging out in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well now we have a picture for Gina. Right? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go to bed. There All right, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing seems to be happening here. No. Nope. Let me know what you're doing. <laughs> All right. Well, we got we got the we got your ruse as a possible plan. Yeah. We can go look for this guy. It's a possible plan, or we just sit on it and go to the go to the meeting in the morning. Maybe uh, that guy would be at that uh, shady bar that we went to the other night. With my friends that you met Gina at. Try another bar. Wanna should we go for a night on the town? Well, that's what we got. And if not, it'll be our last night out before they take us into a room and shoot us. Behind the chemical sheds. Let's go. Let's go.
Now yeah. we have a picture to show around if we wanted to. True. And we have a name that we can share. We have two names. All right, you guys are going out? Going out. Yeah, going Any out. Any more specific? That one place that we went to before. What, what the club. Yeah. yeah. I have it. The only club in somewhere. town. The convex. The co- yeah. The inner convex. The outer convex. Outer convex. Outer convex. Outer convex. Outer convex. Yeah. They had Celtic Rock playing. Celtic Rock, that's right. Yeah. You guys can go back there again? Yeah. All right. You going to hit up your friends? Or are you just going to go there? I'm just going to go there. I think, I think, think, yeah, I think, I think that might be a bit much. You know, you're going to break? Yeah, all this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> espionage type stuff might be too much for them. They're good, honest working people. There we go. They are. But hey, in our defense, it was either them dumping their bodies or us dumping their bodies. So. You know. All right. <laughs> All right, big pies. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, you got it. Me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, send in meat pie. <laughs> beef pie. Pie. Beef pie. Pie. All that right. Great. You guys hit the outer convex. It's, it's just like you remember, multi-floored dance place. I go to the bar. All right. I try to strike up a conversation with the bartender. All right. What do you want, buddy? Looking for, I'm looking for an old friend, and I'm not having any luck whatsoever. Said this was the place to be. Yet yeah, been here for hours. Nothing. Let's stay again. All right. Well, that don't call on. Oh, uh, that don't tell me what you want, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Carquillo or Con Milo, but he's probably running under his alias if I had to guess. That's right. Well, I'll tell you what. I want a stiff drink, then we'll start from there. Uh, you want me to surprise you? Yeah. All right. Trough liquor. <laughs> this is damn right I do. <laughs> uh, he goes, gets a glass, pours like four different queer things into it, sets it down. Twenty-seven fifty. Mm, I pay the man. All right. And I drink that drink. I drink it like I mean it, because that way he knows that I'm going to spend a little time with the bartender. All right. Roll me a 2d6. Huh? Roll me a 2d6. Ooh, endurance boy. bonus. Ooh. Endurance bonus. That is a six plus one. Seven. Ooh, feels good. Feels good. Makes your head uh, turn a little bit, but... Tell him I like it. You. He's already gone. He's already oh, he's, he's, already, out? he's already serving the ladies at the bar. Oh, the ladies. I'm hang out with you. All right, I'm looking around. I'm looking around for this guy that looks like Con or... I don't know. A group of three people that look like they're fresh out of scout school. All right. Is that what y'all came there for? Just look for guys? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> We're fishing, man. How long How long you want to stay there? What are you all doing? I'm just going to be like walking through the crowds. Yeah. Working the crowd. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Um, show, show the picture around. Say like, hey. Look no, I don't know if you want to just be. Oh, yeah. Don't let her Don't let her limit you. No, she has no. a good point. <laughs> well, yeah, then no. again, it would bring their attention to you. and then True. Flush them out. Flush them out. There is that. Okay. All right, you guys hang out for a little bit, but you know, you're not seeing anybody. You don't see Milo around. Okay. Um, no Gina. Gina's not there. Uh, it's just kind of, it just seems like a regular night at the club. Nobody's, okay. Nobody's doing anything weird. Nobody's fighting. See, uh, similar to last time, I mean, say maybe some uh, money being pawned and a little smack being passed around. <laughs> okay. But... Well, it seems like a waste of time. We should just go. Yeah. yeah. This is a pretty big city, by the way. It's not. I was on the town. impression it's not a very big city. My apologies. No, it's pretty big. <laughs> All right. Well, then screw it. I go to sleep, and we're going to go to this murder meeting. <laughs> All right. Murder meeting. Murder meeting. Oh, oh boy. God. Okay. You're just leaving us hanging, Jason. <laughs> hey, man. I had all kinds of ideas that uh, I could have used if someone didn't blow a phone call. Yeah, that's true. It's true. <laughs> now you know what? Now we're going a different can, direction. Sometimes you can't do completionists. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. We don't need to do every service mission. <laughs> we have to. All right, you guys go back. Go back and go to bed. Let's do something else. Let's do this fucking meeting. All right. You're on the way back. And uh, Pernicky's phone starts ringing. Well, I'll answer it. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Pernicky, what are you doing? It's Leela. Oh. <laughs> hey. New phone. Who this? Oh, uh, we were just leaving the uh, outer convex. Oh, you gotta come to the ship. The ship. 
What's going on? Oh my god, on? there's crazy stuff happening here. What? You gotta see it. All right, we'll be right there. Wait, did I go to bed? No, we were walking back. Oh. Come no. on, guys, we gotta go. We gotta go to Leela's ship. There's something going on. She said it's crazy over there. I do it, but I look sleepy and unhappy. <laughs> okay. And I'm, right. I'm interested. No, this is it. <laughs> Hey, if somebody says weird shit's going on, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll oh, check it out. Let's check it out. It's going to be a way to make money off that. Right? Got to be. Uh, so, so you get there. Mm-hmm. She's waiting at the ramp for you. She's like, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come here. And she takes you to the uh, place in the hole where they set up their laboratory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can see the, the, the glass cases um, where they were keeping their mice and stuff are broken. Um, some of them, like, there's, like, five of them. One of them's, all of them have, like, holes in them, like, this big and the size of the, the glass. Uh, one, like, the whole thing is shattered. And uh, there's, like, a metal box, like, a, you know, like a dog carrier or something. And there's, like, a, a lot of scratching and banging at it at the, the side of the wall. Ooh. Well, pointing at that, what's going on there? You... We did some more experiments with that ooze, and it was rats went nuts. And one of them's in that. Where are the other rats? That thing. I don't, we know. don't know. <laughs> they all ran away. Come here, come here, look at this. She brings up a, a video on the computer with all the data, like dosages and stuff they've been giving them. And the rats were like, every time they'd give a rat one of the oozes, it would get like a little bigger. And then it would like beat up on a rat without it, without that they didn't give the ooze to. And they just kind of got a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. And they were like this big and they were walking upright on their two feet and they're like all muscly and stuff. And one of them broke out and attacked one of the other guys and like caught in a net and threw it in that, in that cage. <laughs> wow. Well. And then, uh, <laughs> While they're doing that, the others broke out and they just dispersed. So, <laughs> so you got so muscle so... rats ro- walking around outside. <laughs> How tall are these muscle rats? <laughs> now? They're about like, like two, nine foot? inches tall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. I was, I was thinking they were like six feet or something, right. you know. But they're muscly uh, rats. Oh, the one in the cage is like a foot and a half tall. That was a big rat. Uh, that was a big rat. So these guys were making some kind of. I don't know. I don't know what they're... If they want people to go crazy or they just want people to be stronger or... They're probably if, using it, whatever. yeah, for making super soldiers or something, maybe? Maybe. I don't think it's working yet. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Moon Brawl, question mark, super soldiers. Scoutmaster, not a army general. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that muscle when you're flying in space by yourself for three months? That just sounds like more food than what you need. No, just put them in stasis and just use them for boarding parties. That's true. And it's just it's just rattling and hitting and going yeah. nuts while we're talking, while they're... Yeah. Hmm. You so, mean, well, I guess that those moonflowers weren't as... Good thing I didn't drink that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, one of her partners comes up, the dude comes up, and he's got a rifle. Cool. And he doesn't look like he knows how to handle it very well. <laughs> And he's got some scratches and stuff on him. Well, I don't see any. I don't see any. Maybe they went down the ramp. There's, there's <laughs> foot tall. No oh, man. Muscle rats. Somebody's not right having here. a good night. <laughs> no. Oh no. Mm. So is this guy practicing proper trigger control? Yeah, his finger's not on the trigger. Okay, he's good. just holding it weird. All right, all right. Oh. Not smart enough to know there is a trigger. Yeah, then I don't have to take it from, you know, slap him and take it from him. There you go. Get you a new rifle. He looks like he wants to use his club. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Oh, the plot's thickening now. I'm at a loss with the, with these muscle rats. I'm at a loss myself. And there's I have no... a question. Yeah. It has nothing to do with any of them. Do you or anyone you know happen to be friends with a secretary at the scout um, mm. station? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I don't know her. I don't mm. really know any scouts. This has got to connect somehow. Oh, it's a big city. 
All right, well, I've, uh, I've got most of the ship closed off so far, so I'm going to go uh, check the other rooms. I'll, uh, I'll yell if I see anything. I've got my flamer. I'll go with him. <laughs> yeah, you'll help him. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. Drew's just going to go on a rat hunt. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can do a little recon. Vermin tide. A little reconnaissance. Um, Vermination. You go with the guy around the around the ship, and um, uh, you run into the other scientist who who also has a she has a pistol, and she tells you guys she hasn't seen anything, and um, so far it just doesn't. Unless they're hiding, I mean they're hyper aggressive. So, I mean maybe they'd hide, maybe they wouldn't, but. Uh, no, you guys don't seem to find any hmm. the rats. The rats don't seem to be on board. They're out. Okay. Except for the one in the except the one in the cage. <laughs> I kind of I kind of want to take that rat with us tomorrow <laughs> to the meeting. <laughs> Just it would to, be a little obvious. Uh, something it would. banging in a, a I box. Be, uh, I don't know. I can't really connect that. I can't. I can't connect it. But something. Something tells me just we'd get a reaction out of it. Other than just yeah, surprise. Would. <laughs> yeah, would. Yeah, reaction regardless if it was connected or not. How did you get that in the space station? <laughs> Somebody's not following quarantine protocol. I'm done. I'm, I'm ready. Done. I'm ready yeah. for this meeting to go. We're just fucking around now. Yeah. Unless something falls in our lap, what else are we going to do? So unless you guys got anything, that's, that's my suggestion. Well, I don't necessarily feel safe with this rat in this... this cage in here that they do have because mm-hmm. if it grows more, it can bust out of this cage eventually. Mm. Let's kill the rat. I got a flamer. Burt rat. That is really gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, is the, ca- is the cage movable? Take it outside. Take it? Take it outside and flame it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Modern problems need modern solutions. <laughs> Are you guys going to flame the rat? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody's going to stop us. No. Nope, let's flame the rat. All right, flame oh the rat to death. <laughs> I mean, we could shoot it with a bullet, but then all its tainted blood will go everywhere. You True. Gotta purify. You gotta purify. Stick your nozzle inside the, between the cage doors. You can open the door. Yeah, I got like a 15 whole... foot flame, Are man. You... I don't got to get close Are in. You do the whole box. You're just going to do the whole box. Is it a metal box? <laughs> it's a metal box, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to flame him. I'm not going to open him up. He doesn't need a fighting chance. It's All a right. rat. It's a rat. Like cooking him like in the oven. It was trapped like a rat. All right, so we're so taking the bo- rat in the box out onto the landing field with all the other ships, and you're going to flame it. Yeah. All right. You're not going to bring attention to us or anything. It's uh, creature disposal. Roll me a, a, a D6. <laughs> I just want to see if you're impressed. One. Oh, maybe I should have been two. Sorry. Three. Yeah, you've used this flamer before. You're not very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Just cleaning up a possible mistake. Yep. Yeah, there's some some people kind of stop and watch you, and but act like uh, they've seen weirder things in space before. The mohawk <laughs> and a retiree flaming right. some creature. <laughs> yeah, there's. there's I'm a, not malicious about it. <laughs> there's a little bit of screaming for. About 15 seconds and then it fades. All right. <laughs> and then uh, you just give it a little top off just in case. Yeah. So then you're there with a the, with a box. <laughs> well, <laughs> that looks really hot with the, got some flames dripping on it over it. Well, that's your friend's problem now. So you're going back to the boat. Back to the boat. All right. You gonna go to bed. Boat. Unless something else happens, I'm ready for the beat. No, there was a, there was a number code for that mission, wasn't there? There was on the paperwork. Hmm. I wonder. Is is this ship like linked into the scout system? Oh, like the scout database? Yeah. 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 I want to try to cross cross reference that that number through the scout database. Okay. Um, you get on there. You, Drix, you know that it's a TS twenty two forty three, and you know that TS is uh our secret missions. Hmm. So there's no there's no really database for you to see uh, what that mission is going to entail because um, you need access to get into get into that to see it. There is a the closest you can get is just um, the routine flight uh, departures and arrivals of uh, aircraft. Okay. Well, look at that. There's, there is an aircraft 2243. 
2243. Yep. But there is no. Uh, the destination is just um, the moon base. The scout, the, scout, uh, the scout base on the moon. Okay. But there's no mission details. There's no cargo manifest, no personnel, nothing. Ooh. No ship type. No ship type. Okay, I want to run the six names through the scout database. Um, okay, so the three names, Tensor, Milo, and Ebony come up. Okay. Uh, just as, uh, you know, just in the service and the scout service. Okay. Um, but no details about them. There's no, none of the, uh, uh, nobody's going to have, like, any personal details or anything in the database that can be accessed. Yeah. Like that. But, I mean, they are they are listed there as uh, scout members with their okay. pictures. What about the alias? Oh, with with pictures? Nice. Okay. So, cross-referencing... Sorry, they're boot camp pictures. Con Milo oh, yeah. to Car Milo. Huh? Con Milo, Con Milo to Car Milo is that... It's the guy from, that you found it is on the guy. sister's website. Okay. Uh, and none of, none of the aliases showed up in the database? None of the alias names? No. And I think as a last, I want to look up uh, Moon Bro. Oh, uh, yeah, he's in there. He's just listed as the uh, assistant scoutmaster. Assistant scoutmaster. Gosh, something I'm not seeing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> too, but I'm like, ah. Something I'm not seeing. What can we do? It's bugging me. I'm not going to be able to sleep. Okay, names. The, the mission number. Moon Bro. Fizzle thrust. So I'll look up fizzle Put thrust. One of those things on the walls with all the strings going to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Murder board. Yeah. Using okay. all my bell strings. That's what you do. It. Yeah. I'll start yeah. a murder board. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Would there be a way to look up the asteroid belt through the scout system? Like, if there's anything, any like m- maneuvers going on out there, anything on the books um, going on in the asteroid belt for Collis? No, no movements system. or. Okay. No, like okay. the, no security movements or anything are on there. Okay. World Wide Web, you can see that there's you know different businesses and stuff working out there. Okay. Asteroid mining is not unknown. It's, it's a pretty fairly common thing nowadays. Okay, well I'm gonna go make some hooch and think about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, Trick's going to bed. I'm yep. going to bed. And you're going to bed. All right. The morning comes. Larry's making breakfast. Nice. Woohoo. Lauren's for the win. Some eggs and bacon. Bacon. Eggs and bacon. Looks like Yospis has learned a way to a woman's heart is not through her stomach. Will the crew survive this plague of murder and muscle rats? Like and subscribe to find out. And as always, thank you for exploring with us. Space out?